New Zealanders? No, I still I still feel very much New Zealand probably more than more than ever. It makes it more difficult probably staying here and trying to get things done. But it's definitely home base for me. Yeah. 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 So but yeah, you still feel like a New Zealander. Actually quite a lot more of but uh, you sort of realise that you, you do have to go away. So. What about musically though? Do you think you might have had a, a complex about coming from Dunedin, the bottom of the world, and then going to Europe? Well, luckily by the time we went to Europe, we were a New Zealand band sort of evenly scattered throughout, so no, not really. It's, um, the music here is as good as anything overseas easily, so it's no, no worry there. Well, how about your attitude to the music industry? Has that changed since travelling? Um, it's it's been funny in, in some ways. The um, it, it's streets ahead of overseas here in terms of like this equipment. Um, bands here get treated pretty well compared to England, but really we're still, you know, uh, very much feeling the lack of support from the music industry as a whole here. Just really don't want to support independent bands, independent label bands, and it's been like that for years. They've got had all the proof they should that things are going really well, but they're still. It's like, I still feel like we're an embarrassment to them, you know, and I'd rather we weren't here. Yeah. It's, a, yeah, it's a totally different industry, and well, it's the major industry and the independent industry overseas, and they get, they're basically treated the same. They don't have one here, which is a, a real shame. Do you think people in Europe are more, uh, public in general, are more, more receptive to new, new sounds as well? Well, there, there's definitely a big market there, because obviously the population, and that market's really well catered for with you know fanzines and papers and and record labels lots of lots of little independent record labels that do a lot of work but you know it's a population thing again and also they've seen a lot more independent bands which have been allowed to succeed meaning like they've actually had radio play so it's not like you get a surprise to them anymore that you know small bands get, get big <laughs>